back for part two of the lamb shank video. Uh, there's a little pan of my uh, bachelor pad. Check that out. These flowers were done by moi three years ago. Dried flowers like that. I'm not a lover. Okay, anyways, um, <laughs> this is part two. <laughs> that proves it's me. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yes, I need better camera work. So, uh, we're gonna go into our oven. Uh, this time we're actually gonna use a glove because I know it's hot. And uh, check out my fancy oven. I've got a broken oven door. And one day, I'm actually gonna put in a maintenance request. <laughs> okay, so basically, um, for these lamp shanks, I did a little Googling. This is going to be awkward I take this out. Oh, God. I don't know if I can actually take it out with um, with one hand. Yeah, I can't. Okay, let's do a quick timeout. Okay, let's set our camera down. Over here. We're setting our camera down. Going into the abyss. Okay. I'm still recording even though it's dark. Because you know what? I actually can't take that out. I cannot take that out one-handed. It's not going to happen. Uh, so I, I decided, I did a little Googling action, and I set my oven at 375. I know I said 450, uh, but uh, sometimes slower is better. Um, and, um, and also one thing, I did put my oven right at the bottom. Yes, I know it's a dirty oven, but it doesn't matter. Ovens are beautiful, uh, dirty or not. And it's my kitchen, I'll keep it the way I want to, <laughs> but I'm buff. Remember, I'm not Martha Stewart, I'm John Thomas, <laughs> judge me if you want. I don't care if she's not coming here <laughs> with her white gloves and her <laughs> Connecticut charm. I mean, she's an ex-con anyways. <laughs> okay, so that's coming along lovely. Um, actually, maybe I should have actually uh, um, raised the heat, because actually when you braise it in the oven, it's, it's basically kind of boiling, and, and as you can see, it's bubbling. And that looks pretty lovely. And one thing you should do uh, with any braised meat, because this is, they're quite big. A little awkward actually with my left hand as I do this. You should actually turn them. So it's been in, uh, so let's see, the time is, where my oven is gonna slip open. Oh God, let's go quickly. What time is that? So I put them in at uh, 3.30. And now it's a uh, quarter to six. So that's been over a little over two hours, right? So what you should do, and I should have actually done this earlier, is you should uh, flip these lamb shanks over. Uh, and actually, I guess I could, you know what? That's pretty tender right there. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. <laughs> these babies might be done. Yeah, oh God. See, it's really awkward filming one hand. <laughs> my camera is blocking the lens. <laughs> Not my camera. My hand is blocking the lens. Okay. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm going to upload this as is because I actually don't have time to edit. Um, they're actually done. Okay. And the best way to uh, show that they're done is to, uh, as they say, stick a fork in it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually going to stick a spoon in it, and because you want it fork tender, basically, and that is, let's see, yeah, it's done. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good to know. Now, this uh, beautiful uh, braising liquid, um, you could actually reduce this, you can boil it a little bit, you can take these uh, lamb shanks out, and I'm going to do that, actually, let's, let's take one out. And let's see what it looks like, because I think that's a good idea. And i got to be careful, because the meat is actually falling off the bone. Oh yeah, it's completely cooked. Okay, and you can get a little close-up of that, at least I will. And again, so that that's that's the cooked lamb shank. I realize we're in a bit of a shadow. Okay, so if you notice, that is perfectly cooked perfectly tender, perfectly done. Uh, I was going to turn them, uh, but I guess I, I covered them enough um, that I didn't have to turn them. So uh, I guess I'm still a good cook, but I'm not. <laughs> okay. 
anything. <laughs> I can still do it. <laughs> 20 years after the fact, I can still do it. So let's cook our broth, taste our broth. Let's see what it goes. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's pretty good. And um, I should have done one thing, <laughs> which I didn't do. It's actually hot. <laughs> I should have blown on it. Okay, that's pretty hot. That's actually a little beautiful. I could, I could probably add a little salt to it, just a pinch, uh, but that's going to be later. So that's actually our, um, our cooking vlog for how to make uh, lamb shanks at home. They're not that complicated. Um, you know, so one, one way, what I'll, what I'll probably do now is I'll take all the shanks out. This, these are very tender, actually. I have to be careful with them because they're t totally falling off the bone. Oh, boy. That like that. So so there they are. Those are the cooked shanks. I guess you can't really. Holy God, they're so tender. Oh my God. That's the broth. And actually, I don't know why I'm actually taking them. Out. <laughs> well, one reason I am taking them out is because I need to cool them. I need to cool this down because I'm going out later, and it's going to be a lot faster if I take them out. Uh, individually, so it's looking a little messy, and so so I'm gonna let this cool. This meal is actually for tomorrow um, because I have a little meal planned for today, and I'm going out soon. And uh, but that's uh, extra curricular stuff. So um, getting back to uh, uh, myself, John. So this is part two of how to cook lamb shanks. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, in the second part that I'm uh, about to upload now. I'm gonna have a detailed um, uh, recipe of, of, of the ingredients what I used uh, for the seasoning for for the broth, and you know just end the method, and I'll put that in the description, and that'll be it. And so uh, once again, I just say uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Just go to John T Food sixty six all lowercase J O H N T F O O D sixty six. If you're wondering how I came up with that name. It's my email address, and that was the uh, best I could do at the time. <laughs> so that's basically it. So uh, once again, uh, braised lamb shanks uh, with um, porcini mushrooms. Let's see if I can find a mushroom. Uh, they're in there, I promise. Uh, there's a mushroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, my phone is flipping from my hands. Don't drop my phone. <laughs> okay. Shaky camera working. <laughs> okay. Okay, and um, yeah, and and this is so I'm gonna be serving this over basmati rice. I have some uh, basmati rice that I, I pre freeze when I make big batches of it, and it's just a beautiful uh, broth. You can take this broth, reduce it a little bit if you like, or you can keep it like that. I do, I do not choose to thicken it with flour. Uh, I'm not into this um, old way of doing stuff. I like rustic cooking, and rustic cooking is you stay away from flour. Uh, and even cornstarch, because as far as I'm concerned, it's just some fancy little thing you can do if you want it. Uh, but I like broth. I'm a broth guy. So that's the end of my video. That's my sign again. <laughs> and this is me waving bye-bye to anyone who watches this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.